and that's just the French or the German or the Danish team will win gold medals. And so we have to wrap now. And it is not the case. Or and I'm sorry. Parenthesis. It is not the case. Parenthesis that the French and the German will win gold medal. Or bracket it is not the case that the French or the Dutch will win parenthesis or we're going to put or over here on the edge remember that and this is the end of our term here it is not the case that the German or the Dutch win the gold medal parenthesis bracket parenthesis Parenthesis, bracket, parenthesis. Now this literally is enormous. This kind of sentence, like I said, they're just screwing with us. So let's go to the next uh, problem. Your abbreviation still. Uh, now you're going to give me English versions of the following. Not F and not G and not D. Not F and not G and not D. It's like this. So translate that, given our previous universe of discourse, into English. I'll just pause briefly here. And uh, you press pause on your YouTube video player and uh, go ahead and work it out. So what did you get for the answer? Here's the answer. None of them will win a gold medal. Not the French, not the German, not the Dutch. Nobody will win a gold medal. Okay, number C, letter C. Not the case. Parenthesis. Parenthesis. F or parenthesis. G or D. So, not the case that F or G or D. None of them will win a gold medal. Not the French, not the German, and not the Danish. Nobody's going to win a gold medal. And, parenthesis, parenthesis, G or D, parenthesis, and not G and D, and not, parenthesis, G and D. Parenthesis, parenthesis. The ampersand being our main connective in this sentence. Connecting the term F and all this business. So, what is the answer to that? Translate into English, please. The answer is, the French team will win a gold medal, and exactly one of the other two teams will win a gold medal. The French and exactly one of the other two, but not both of the other two. So, if S, then not G, and S, and S. If S, then not G, and S occurs. So what does that mean, given our universe of discourse that we have earlier? Uh, so that's the star German runner is disqualified. And if the star German runner is disqualified, the Germans will not win at least a gold medal. Okay, going on to C. Not G, if and only if, D and F. Not G, if and only if, D and 
Yeah. Go ahead and translate that into English. And what did you get for the translation? And it is, the German team won't win a gold medal if and only if the Danish as well as the French will win one. The German team won't win a gold medal if and only if the Danish as well as the French will win one. This is a long one. We've got six terms in here. Bracket F. Or bracket P or S or R. Okay. Go ahead and translate that into English. Either at least one of the three wins a gold medal, or else the French team is plagued with injuries, or the star German runner is disqualified, or it rains during most of the competition. Quite a laundry list. Kind of grow, blows the uh, crow epistemology. But that's the last. That's the last sentence we're gonna convert in that fashion. We may have to do more later with other connectives.